For some types of writing, it's very common to use superscripts in the text. Most often this is done in scientific types of writing, but that doesn't mean it isn't done in other types of writing as well. There's a problem though. When you add superscripts, that can cause issues when it comes to using the spell checker in Word. Let me show you what I mean. Let me start out here by adding a little bit of text to this blank document. It doesn't really matter what the text is, so we'll put some random text in here. And what I wanted to do is add a few um, superscripts in here. So I'm going to put a superscript here like um, ST, uh, and I'll highlight that, and uh, then make it a superscript. And then I'm going to go down here and make this be uh, ABC. And again, make that a, a superscript. Now notice, as soon as I added uh, the superscript to each of these, the uh, base word to the left of the superscript and the superscript itself are marked as incorrectly spelled. You can see that in both of these here with uh, tables and diagrams. Now, this is a tricky one on how to get the spell checker to recognize that the base word is a word in its own right. Because the spelling checker in Word considers any consecutive characters be, uh, between spaces or punctuation marks to be a word. Thus, in this case, T-A-B-L-E-S-S-T -S -S is considered a single word. Um, in fact, you can you know, if you double click on it to select the word, the whole word is selected, including the superscript it's, that is at the end of it. Now, if the superscripted part is numeric, you can sort of get around the problem by configuring the spell checker to ignore words that contain numbers. But uh, that doesn't help you if you want to spell check the base word before the superscript. In other words, you don't want that base word to be ignored completely. Now there is one way that we found around this, and it is admittedly a, a bit of a kludge. Let me describe to you how you can address this issue. First, you need to define a character style that you want to use for your superscript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, display the styles uh, pane here, and I'm going to uh, add a new style right down here at the bottom. Now this is going to be a character style right here, and for my, uh, I, I can leave everything pretty much the way that it is, but I'm going to display the font information here, and I'm going to mark it as uh, superscript. Say okay. And then I want to go down into the language area, the language option here, and it's marked as English US, which is fine, but I don't want it to check the spelling or the grammar that's associated with wherever this style is applied. So I'm going to say OK, um, OK right here. And that's all that I want to have done for this style. Now I need to give it a name, so I'm going to give it a, a name. Um, doesn't really matter what the name is, whatever works good for you. I'm going to call it SS here and uh, click on OK. So now I have the new SS style that is a character style right here. Now what I want to do is apply this to all of the styles, uh, all of the superscripts that I had in my text. So I'm going to select that ST at the end of tables and I'm going to apply the SS style and I'm going to apply, uh, going to go here and select this ABC and apply the SS style to that as well. Now the interesting thing is, the superscripts look just fine, uh, but they and their base words still are shown as incorrectly spelled within the document. So this hasn't really solved a whole lot. It's, it's not going to help you much unless you jump on to the second part of this. But I want to explain why this is happening. Apparently, the do not check setting that I defined in the style is not paid attention to by the spell checker for every character in the word or what it thinks is a word. Instead, uh, the spell checker bases the do not check status for the entire word on the setting for the first character in the word. So for instance, here in this tables ST, it only pays attention to the, 
you know, do not check setting that's set for this first character, the T, uh, within tables ST. The way that you get around this is, is that you uh, position the um, insertion point right between uh, the tables and the ST portion of it, and then you just hit the space once. And notice what happened is, is that tables now no longer is marked as uh, incorrectly spelled, but ST is still marked as incorrectly spelled. Let's go back and look at that style definition that we created in here. I'm going to go to Modify, and if I go to Language, notice that the Do Not Check Spelling or Grammar is not, uh, di didn't stick in here, if you will. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that English US is selected up here and I want to say do not check. It wasn't directly uh, selected before. I need to select it and select this and then I say OK and click on OK again and now all of a sudden notice that the ST is no longer marked as misspelled. This fix of adding this space in between the, uh, the word and its uh, base, I can do it again over here by diagrams, may for some people be a worse cure than what the original problem was. The reason is, is that it puts a, you know, a big ugly space between the base word and the superscript and it allows the base word and superscript to become separated as word flows text from one line to the next. And, and you can see that problem if I get rid of the styles pane here. And let's say here for diagrams, I'm, well, I'm going to go right before charts. And I'm going to add a bunch of spaces in here so that I can force Word to flow things to the next line. See, it took the superscript to the next line and left the base word on the previous line, which may be a big problem for um, a lot of people. Well, there are ways around this. Let me just uh, undo that change that I did right there. Now, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to select that space that I inserted in between. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to a very small font size. Right up here in the top, I'm going to say I'm going to only want it to be one point space or here, I want it to only be, again, one point space. Now notice that what that does is it gets rid of the big ugly space. The space is still there, but it has moved things close enough together that uh, Word does not uh, really display much of, of any space in there at all, any horizontal space in there at all. So it looks pretty good on a printout. You still got the problem of it flowing to the next line, however, and the way that you get around that is you go in here and you select that admittedly very small space, which I've just done, and what you do is you, um, instead of using a space in there, we're going to go to symbol here and go to more symbols, and under special characters, I'm going to replace that with a non-breaking space. And now I have that non-breaking space in there. And I'm going to go here on the space just before the ABC, and I'm going to uh, insert the exact same thing, the, uh, the non-breaking space over here on the Special Characters tab. Now I have the non-breaking space in there, and you'll notice that if um, if I go here, notice that it kept it together when it flowed to the next line. And that's how you uh, can take care of it in your Word documents. And now Word will do the spell checking on the base word just as you want, and it'll basically uh, divorce the uh, superscripted portion from the base word so that the spell checking occurs as you want it to.